All right, so I feel a little bit bad because we kind of undersold how awesome it was that this goes to game number three and that Impact did bring that series back. Uh, playing quite excellently on Catalina, actually. But, um, yeah, I don't know. If anyone uses Xbox 2.0 and you know how to turn off this local recording thing, let me know so I don't have to dump 20 gigabytes of data every 10 hours, apparently. <laughs> All right, uh, folks, we're at game number three. It's... DreamHack Open 2014 is DreamHack Winter. We're in groups C and D as we bounce around, but of course, like we said, we've been following a little bit of impact. We'll be following him yet again to fight against Snoot after this one concludes. Spawning here in the bottom left corner of the map from Axiom. I give you the Red Zerg player, Impact. Yep, right as the Blue Terran, Tatsu's MMA. Alright, so for those who maybe haven't been following DreamHack throughout the entire year, one of the big things about this is to, in order to play, in order to be here in this tournament participating, you have to have been through a lot. You have to have stuck it through a DreamHack and won it, uh, finished top times multiple times. I mean, it's hard to get to DreamHack Winter. That's why we're getting some of the best games, because it's all it, it is literally the best players from the entire year of StarCraft 2. We have a uh, pull first, not an early pull, just a pull first. So he can make six lings off the back of this and try and kill the SCV, uh, making the command center. But we just see it more commonly, just a faster queen. No, no lings at all, actually. So just taking a quick look here at uh, the rest of Group D, by the way. Results so far, um, impact, I mean, sitting pretty pretty nicely on top of the group, I didn't even realize. Um, so should he fall to MMA here, perhaps not that big of a deal. MMA kind of in that midpoint with Polt, and it's Joshi and Snooter on the outs. I actually feel really bad for C. He's down 0-2. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, he'd have to definitely win the next two series that we're going to cast, so stay tuned. Oh yeah, we're actually following... I didn't realize like, we were following Impact, but we were following Snoot again afterwards, because we'll fight uh, him versus Joshi. Um, okay, so that's... And that's, that's a weird way for this group to play out. Not even touching Group C, though, but we do have uh, 4GG leading that group quite nicely, too. Uh, yeah. With Solar not too far behind, either. I guess we'll talk about it more when we actually cast Snoot. But if you all... I don't know what's going on. We haven't been live before threads nearly as much, and I haven't really chat. But Snoot was, like, mindfully so, taking a break from, like, being really serious about StarCraft 2. So I think DreamHack was included as well. Whether I'm it was a surprise. Whether it was or wasn't, I mean, it's not like Snoot needs excuses, though. I mean, his hat is, uh, fair sure. I've done what I could for my foreigners. No, I just feel like, you know, he's been such a prominent force this last year. <laughs> like, uh, he gets to take him, like, he gets to, uh, <laughs> he's gonna afford that, that leeway. But, uh, Impact actually managed to sneak a couple links across the map to MMA. This is kind of a classic move that fell out of favor because we just, you always see the second Reaper at home with those quick two Marines, uh, which are on the way, but a little bit delayed, so. Um, these lings are gonna get killed. Not quite gonna kill the SCV. That's a bit annoying. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Yep. Oh. Boop, 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 boop. He's good. Alright, he goes back to the CC, so not too bad. But this kept the Reaper at home, so no harass going in the mineral line here of impact. So when you consider like normally like six six Zerglings are made to defend, like two going across the map early like that, kind of a little bit better. Erskin, my house smells like Thanksgiving dinner. You're lucky. My house smells like stupid Christmas decorations um, at the moment. My mother so, and like I went plastic. Well, so I I, I went to, with my mom to buy Christmas decorations, and our house was just getting Christmas lights, and that's it. And it was one of those things where it's like, oh, you should get this, and here's a wreath, and this, and oh, just don't worry, I'll get it. And it's just like, okay. So I haven't put anything up, but just sitting on a lump, <laughs> like in a, on the kitchen table, are like I don't oh know, forty god. decorations. Oh my god, I'm not before to putting up. Christmas decorations, how oh, we go so all out. Oh, my mom and dad at their place, they go, they go super ham. Like they, they even dress up the stupid stockings for the the dog they have. Is uh, oh, <laughs> they, they go, they go really dedicated. With yeah, that's crazy. Cute. They're the same people that'll put the decorations up like a month ago type thing, like way before yeah. Christmas. Anyways, yeah. um, as far as this goes, we actually have what of my drops coming out of MMA this time around. Uh, I, was, I was a little bit curious what he was going to do with that medevac. Because I saw the tech lab come down and I thought, you know, Banshees, right? Why not? But um, keeps it for the faster stim. Or did. Psych. Good. Well, that was a mistake, Maybe wanted, I think. You already wanted to get the Viking out first? Maybe. I just, I don't know if it seems worth displacing your stim time. Well, did our... Are you MMA? No, no, I was you. Doing, okay. It's like I'm playing a BlizzCon. Okay, so we got me. Okay. 
to say. It seems weird is all. <laughs> no, I, I don't know what it was either. Um, but he's Thanks, by the way. That's a really good Reddit impression no just problem. now. Thank you. I, I, you know, I read a lot of it and I wish <laughs> I, it out. I've been working on it for a while. <laughs> Alright, we'll see how much shit... Vibe kills not too bad. It gets the one here in the main. Oh. Um, oh. Good? Uh, kick us off on an egg. Useless. Okay. You killed a larva. <laughs> Ah, but the Hellion yeah. follow-up. Ooh, the Hellions! Yeah. I'm gonna get a couple of drones, maybe even a couple of links, if they can find that nice little... There we go. Well, the bandits coming in is gonna screw that up. Yeah, like, it's a bit awkward in that, uh, this can joke. But, yo, it's worth shouting out, or, not shouting out, but noting that, uh, the Viking behind this actually supply blocked the impact slightly. And he's still supply blocked. There's no overlords on the way. Like, this is kind of a problem. Ooh. There we go. Well, it... One more in the way. Oh. How many damage? Uh, how many drones? 19! Really? Whoa. I think that second widow mine that he just picked up killed more. The one inside the medevac. We just missed it. Yeah. Um, trying to figure I was just sitting here like in awe. Like, wait a minute. How's he building seven more drones if he's supply block? But no. That only killed one. Maybe the other one that died killed... Must have been the other one that died. Yeah. So, the point is, that's a lot. That brings up to an even... No. Just kidding. It brings up 19. That was a laying down a drone. Keep so that's, shooting down here. That's a lot more than you usually get from Winter Mines. I feel like the best thing you usually get from Winter Mines is like damage on a queen. Yeah, um, that seems to be the case a lot of time because Zerg players just in general have gotten better control. I mean, you could just literally walk away from a Winter Mine and it shuts it down. Uh, sadly, though, of course, not quite the case of what happened here to Impact, but does this offset him? Okay, he's making up the drones still. This kind of also dissuades a bit of an attack, but you know, he's on three bases on Foxtrot. Not exactly an easy task to pull off. This is a pretty messy map. Um, these spawn locations, I think, definitely worked out a little bit better than the the alternatives. If that was the case, this third base would almost be completely out of the question. But oh man, if this if this if my eyes doth deceive me here, uh, small donation coming in from Mr. Riamar, and I say small a little bit ironically. He has solved my exploit problem through a donation. <laughs> Fifty dollars says click on broadcast the wheel next to Twitch base trade TV uncheck automatically save recording on local drive. Thank you very much, man. Uh for both the information and the donation. Very nice. Yeah, I still have to uh, go pay out the uh the winners of uh the Legacy of the Void show matches. I actually don't know who won between Cats and State. He refused to tell me when he sent me the replays, and when I saw all three replays I was like great. <laughs> Not gonna get a fight out uh, till after the last one, but uh, anyways, double drops coming out here for MMA, and you know this. If, if there's one thing Foxtrot Labs has shown us, it's like these little ledge cliffs here, the choke over here. Like there's really good ways you can just abuse your Marines on this map, uh, and above all else, you can just pick up a drop on the high ground. It just gets two out of hand. Yeah, I mm, you could have abused it more. I feel if it was on the high ground. Yeah, there we go. The the what of uh, the bailing is gonna come in one at a time. You can definitely focus fire maybe like three out of five, and then have to get out of there, but. It is so abusable there. Nope, nope. There you just picked up. Yeah. Uh, more medevacs coming, though, with Widow Mines in tow this time. So it's not just Marines, but... I mean, that's kind of the scary thing. Like, Widow Mines, yeah, there's a lot of potential damage. But, I mean, for the most part, Widow Mines are like... I don't know, a real gamble unit. Sometimes they'll get god mode hits. Sometimes they'll just, I don't know, friendly fire, right? Oh, that's a pretty good smack to those links, though. 13 kills, not too shabby. Meanwhile, the drops continue to persist here around the natural. Is he gonna focus the bailings? Hell yeah. Oh, he doesn't just focus them. He like takes up the ones that were in danger and focuses with the other ones. That was worse. This this is getting out of hand very quickly. Uh, right now, this is a situation where he's down supply heavily. He's lost a lot more than MMA has. Uh, MMA actually lo unloading one marine at a time into bailings. So it's not too bad of a trade. Uh, you can actually survive that hit if you've got uh, if you've got ooh if you've got combat shields, but he doesn't sadly. So the mute is out. He's finally perhaps at the end of his run here for damage. I'm gonna make you two more marines. Meanwhile, the middle of the map has been pushing, clearing people. This has been going on. This is not like this has been ignored. So, I mean, MMA is still applying pressure every which way. Supply block yet again is the impact. More overlords coming out, of course, but man, this is getting a little bit scary. Yes, it is. I mean, he's up 30 supply. He is on creep. So, if MMA's gonna have a good uh, chance to come back, it's right now. MMA's 2 2 is also a little bit ahead, and he is starting to go towards the fourth. Fox should always an odd fourth, no matter what location you get. Could break down the rocks, or just drop. Well, 
this is hardly the 90 baneling scenario. Impact was a 40 when he played against Bolts. MMA is definitely giving you a little more trouble, but the map certainly isn't complimenting this. Uh, MMA in the meantime is this really weird depot wall. It looks a little bit messy and like, oh my god, what is this new doing with these buildings? But it's actually great because everything has to funnel through these now or detonate on top of them. Yeah. Does see the rock chain broken down? That's pretty key. Uh, in fact, I don't think he has enough failings at home. Is this it? That is it. He uh, actually didn't even kill the Marauders with the ones he had, so... Trying to morph in some more. He might lose the hatchery before this does. Actually, he's going to bring everything back home. That's quite a smarter choice. In this Fix up the Marines, though, so screw it. <laughs> yeah. Decides to go for the main. Uh, now he's only going to have a small handful of Zerglings to deal with here. It's 1-1 it's one, one versus 1-1, one, one, but the Palm Shield, Stim, Combination, Metabacks, like everything here works out a little bit better for MMA. But look at the gigantic army on the way. Oh, MMA's things. up 60 supply. Yeah. <laughs> Again, supply blocked one more time. I mean, it's the story of this game. Uh, you know, Impact normally just behind from loss of actual fights and units, but just getting supply blocked so frequently, he's overlords so badly out of position once again, he's just not able to build enough units to fight MMA, and MMA is just flooding across the map. That rally point of blue streaming downwards, he knows he's in a great spot. He's trying to capitalize on this. He doesn't want to give Impact any breathing room, no chance to recover. The Mutals are being picked off here too, and all the Bailings, they're on creep. I don't know if there's enough of them to even get the connection he needs to win this fight. The Marauders still stand. They're shelling away the hatchery while this goes on. If this third dies, there's no way Impact has enough money to deal with anything. He knows it too. Good game is called. MMA will take the series 2-1. to one.